Trade Research Entity is a dream come true. We started this research entity in 2012 and we are now a team of more than 20 academics that are really focused, a young and dynamic, energetic group doing their research on export promotion, on the role of services in international trade, on foreign direct investments, on the informal sector and the role that it plays, on the agricultural economy and the competitiveness of this sector, as well as now recently we are more focusing on Africa. Our students get very good jobs and we are very proud of our alumni. They work in the private sector as well as in the government at the DTI, the Reserve Bank, Grand Merchant Bank, freight forwarding organizations and I can go on and on. We have very good relations with the employers and the fact that our students have such a good work ethic comes out from our employers all the time. We are particularly proud in the Trade Research Entity of two achievements. The one is the WTO Chair that was awarded to us in 2014 and the second is our spin-out company that was created in 2015 where two of our alumni are taking our research to market to governments as well as companies to help them in their export promotion efforts. Trade-related issues, I focus on economic integration and political integration uh, from the perspective of the programs of regional economic communities and the African Union. So just look at how implementation can be made effective. Within the broader trade spectrum, we also look at elements of foreign direct investment um, as its contribution in regional economic communities and how it's distributed among member states. And that comes broadly as well within the whole growth and development uh, uh, literature uh, from a regional perspective. There's a sense in which we feel that we are contributing to solving real-time economic-related uh, challenges that the country and, and the continent is, is facing. We want to create a pool of graduates that uh, are competent in carrying out technical, practical, econometric related kind of analysis. And we also want to be able to develop a pool of graduates that are ready for the job markets to be absorbed into the various sectors that are focusing on the economic development and the trade related challenges. We want to be able to equip them with the theoretical foundations that fit into the broader debate that's going on out there and help them to immediately see the policy relevance of what is it that they're doing so that they can hit the road running. They can get into those institutions and be able to start making contributions from day one. I love ideas and I love learning. So I think that is really the heart of research is, is getting new ideas and learning new things and, and discovering new knowledge. Currently, I'm supervising a, a wide range of topics. So I have students working on uh, firm efficiency. I have students working on currency crises and financial problems. I have ones working on topics around trust and social cohesion and inclusive development. So really, I, I'm all across the board. I just love ideas. We all hope to, to somehow inform the body of knowledge that once your students are done with their studies, it adds a little bit of new knowledge to what is out there and hopefully it trickles up to some sort of policy maker or a business decision maker and really makes the world in a really small way a better place. Once you've finished either your master's or your PhD degree, the sorts of skills that you learn are quite transferable. So you know how to approach a problem, you know how to tackle it from beginning to end, you can read literature, you can read other people's analysis, you can do some of your own analysis, and you can write a proper report about it. And that's really something that's in great demand across the world. The dream is someone who is a self-starter, who is also keen on whatever they're working on, who thinks that it's interesting and who can sort of keep going on their own. Within my research focus, which is feminist economics, I'm very excited about studying the labour disparities that exist between gender conforming and LGBTI people in the workplace. And I think this is very interesting to study because it provides us with a much more accurate insight into the social norms that often shape labour market outcomes, as opposed to, for example, just controlling for sex as a dummy variable. I feel very strongly that the research process is something that 
uh, develops skills and thought processes in and of itself and isn't something that students should necessarily approach as a means to an end. I think things are changing very rapidly out there and we need to get away from the mindset that we're going to be studying very specific things and end up in these very specific predefined job titles or categories. Opportunities within the field of gender economics is, is growing. It's becoming more and more of a pressing concern as we've seen this past year, even just with the hashtag MeToo movement. Um, and the imperative for people to be studying these dynamics is growing more and more important. I describe my approach to study guidance as very cooperative. I learn just as much from my students as they hopefully learn from me. And I think that study guidance should be offered in such a way that it allows room for the student to develop individually and holistically instead of just on the academic front. My work as a researcher has always been about finding a passion and a drive to solve problems and having a natural curiosity to identify solutions to problems experienced in the international trade world. A lot of my research focuses on the logistical field and the, the freight and clearing and forwarding industries. What we try and teach the student is to find a gap between the academic literature and what the real-time problems in the industry is and to find potential solutions. The companies in these industries find this very valuable because in the South African context there is very little research in this field. As a supervisor, I try and empower my students to find their own path in their postgraduate studies and to take ownership of their project and to find their solutions in their own way. A postgraduate student for me needs to be someone that feels um, confident in what they do. I do not like to handhold the student through this postgraduate program. They need to learn to identify problems and find solutions. They need to be self-starters and they need to be able to press through when it gets challenging and when there seems to be no answer to a question, they must find ways around this. So it needs to be someone that's really excited about what they do. So my thesis focuses on export promotion and regional integration, specifically pertaining to the tripartite free trade agreement within Africa. So what we aim to do with this thesis is to identify specific intra-regional trade opportunities that are currently not being tapped the reason we do this is we want to see if they, we can exploit opportunities within the region rather than sourcing them from outside the region. We also want to see why these countries are not trading with one another, what are the barriers preventing these countries from trading and then also eventually when we get there we also want to see what is the development impact of this on these economies if it can be utilized to some extent. I think the greatest thing about research in general is the fact that we work with real life problems. We get to solve these problems, using this to advise policy makers to implement change. Being a lecturer, I have the opportunity of lecturing international trade as well and I get to incorporate my research into my teaching as well. And this really benefits the student to see how the theory and the practical um, comes together. I've gotten the opportunity to meet a lot of really great people within my field. I've had the opportunity to be mentored by amazing people and also to see places by sharing my research with these people. So it's been an amazing journey. My research is all about export promotion and specifically export promotion organizations within East Africa. Basically I look at the application of export promotion instruments within the export promotions within the East African Union member countries. I love all the people I get to meet and I love getting more soft skills and learning more about not only research but cultural intelligence, learning how to approach people in a respectful yet professional way. Oh, I just I love the interaction but also the intellectual interaction when it comes to doing my master's degree. When I started I just liked writing and then as I wrote and I read 
I started realizing that there's so much more to international trade and I got to meet a lot of cool people and I'm still going to meet a lot of amazing people and companies that I can interview and learn more from. So the exposure part is of great value for me, but also the interaction in a corporate environment and in an academic environment is really nice because then I get to learn what part of the working structure I want to be a part of, which is quite a blessing to me. I would like to encourage prospective postgrad students to study here because the working environment here is amazing. And there's a lot of knowledge, a lot of broad spectrum knowledge and a lot of experience that we can learn from as postgrad students. I'm currently a postdoctoral research fellow at the Trade Research Entity here at the university where I'm busy with postdoc work. As a postdoc, I'm responsible to increase the research output of the university. The area that I love is I love trade policy and how the shifts in geopolitics um, are influencing international trade. I did my PhD at the university in 2009 and then I was privileged enough to, uh, to go work for the Southern African Customs Union Secretariat in Wintuk, Namibia, where I was a trade negotiations coordinator. I had the privilege to travel the world and um, negotiate SACU's trade agreements and their trade negotiations. If it wasn't for trade and the university, I would never have had those opportunities. Our research at trade is very applicable. You know, we work with the Department of Trade and Industry, we work with multiple stakeholders, and what, what we learn here we can really apply in the marketplace. Trade really equipped me immensely in terms of knowledge and expertise to become an expert in the field of international trade with the trade negotiations work at SACU. The theme or focus of my thesis can be broadly categorized into trade policy, but I'm specifically focusing on the United States of America's Trade Act, the Africa Growth and Opportunity Act. What I enjoy the most about the research that I'm doing is the fact that the research is regional based. I'm of the opinion that before we look at economic growth and development in other parts of the world, we have to focus on the African continent first. And the fact that my study focuses on the Southern African Customs Union and the whole of Sub-Saharan Africa in application is something that, that I enjoy. In that manner, I'm able to contribute to economic growth and development of the African continent. I would like to pursue a career in academics and I believe attaining a PhD degree in economic and management sciences is one step towards uh, that direction. To invest in your future, it is a wise decision to join the Northwest Invest uh, Trade Department and pursue a postgraduate degree of your choice. The theme of my dissertation is I'm looking at uh, the business environment in, and political institutions in Africa to find out how they affect foreign direct investment inflows into, into Africa. What I enjoy about this research is the fact that uh, if we look at Africa, we see that it has been identified as one of the fastest growing continents in the world. However, when we look at foreign direct investments, we see that Africa is receiving the smallest share of those investments. This sort of suggests that uh, the basic economic determinants are not sufficient to explain foreign direct investments into Africa. The value of my postgraduate to me is the fact that I think I'll be able to gain knowledge and intellectual capabilities that I'll be able to apply in my future endeavors, maybe in sectors such as the trade and industry by giving myself uh, an understanding and a background of how they operate. You have listened to the study leaders and our students um, our postdoc fellow uh, about their experiences within the trade research entity. If this is now your time and your dream, please contact us. All our details are on the website and we can't wait. 
to welcome you in the trade research entity as part of our team.